Hello friends, hope everyone's doing well. So today we'll be playing as Chucky. I've been wanting to try him out again. He's actually been a lot of fun recently. I've been playing as him a decent amount. I've been getting pretty good with this ability. He's definitely a killer that's pretty easy to learn. And with what you're able to do with him is pretty cool. Honestly, I take Chucky and Wesker to be pretty solid, both of them together. Both of their add-ons are relatively decent. Both killers have really good abilities. And they're both just really fun to play as. So, per usual, I have two trials to show you today. One of them is on Garden of Joy, the other one is on RPD. We get sent to Garden of Joy, which is fine. We're playing as Chucky, so it's not that big of a deal. I tried to do like a, a gimmick build with Chucky and it didn't really work out too well. It's pretty hard to get value off of the two perks that I brought. With that being said, let's jump right into our build. So the build I'm bringing today is Pop Goes Weasel, Nowhere to Hide, Hubris, and Enduring. Pop Goes Weasel is our regression perk. Every time I hook a survivor, Pop Goes Weasel will be active for 45 seconds, and the next time we kick a generator, that gen will lose 45% of its progress. Pop's a really good regression perk, always has been, and it also works well with the next perk, Nowhere to Hide. Any single time a killer kicks a generator, Within 24 meters of the killer's position, it will show all the auras of the survivors for 5 seconds. Nowhere to hide and pop work out really well, because any time you use pop, you're going to end up using nowhere to hide. And nowhere to hide is pretty strong in showing you where survivors are, because if that if a survivor managed to stealth away from a generator that you know has a decent amount of progress, if you're able to have pop, you kick it, pop activates, and nowhere to hide, so you're be able to start up the next chase relatively quickly. Hopefully you're able to down them as quick as possible, and if another survivor is working on the generator, you can head back, pop it again. And then, you know, repeat the cycle. The only thing that can numbify this is if they have distortion. Other than that, Nord hides a really good perk. The next perk we have is Hubris. Any single time we are stunned by a survivor, they will suffer from the exposure status effect, meaning that they can be one-shotted, even if they're healthy. Do keep in mind this is only with basic attacks, and the effect only lasts for 20 seconds. Hubris also has a cooldown of 20 seconds, so if you manage to down the survivor within that time, it'll go on cooldown. Either that, or if the survivor manages to get away, it'll still have a 20 second cooldown after that. Hubris on Chucky can be really good. If you manage to get stunned, you're able to use your hidey ho mode, be able to scamper underneath the pallet, and then get back into chase relatively quickly. Bonus if it's an unsafe pallet, because then it'll just add more pressure to the survivor, and you can kind of mind game around it, and if you need to use your scamper, you can, but if not, you don't really need to. Hubris is okay. It's not that good, just because it's only 20 seconds, but it can be very strong under certain situations. Also, let's say the survivor has smash hit. If you're just able to scamper underneath the pallet and then use your ability just to catch back up, you can do that. That can be very helpful. And again, adding more pressure to the survivors to try to, you know, get away from you as quickly as I can, and who knows, they might be able to drop more pallets for you to break, so again, Hubris on Chucky can be very strong. And also helps out with another perk that we have, Enduring. Any single time we are pallet stunned, the pallet stun's duration is reduced by 50%. This is to help out Hubris, so you say you get stunned, you're just able to scamper immediately, go underneath the pallet, and then hopefully hit them. The main hope is that you're able to scare the survivor, make them panic, and then kind of like, you know, mess up. That's the best case scenario. But yeah, these two perks work really well together. Another good build would probably be like, maybe get rid of nowhere to hide and add Spirit Fury. So you have Enduring Spirit Fury and Hubris just to help you out. That make this perk even stronger, but I don't think Chucky needs Spirit Fury, just because he's able to scamper underneath pallets. So those are our perks. So we have pretty good regression, we have pretty good information, and we have good pressure when it comes to pallets. All right, let's talk about our add-ons. So the add-ons I'm bringing today is the Yardstick and the Jump Rope. First off, the Yardstick, any single time we scamper, if a survivor is within 12 meters of us, we will see the auras for 5 seconds. And the next we have is the Jump Rope. It increases the duration of Slice and Dice by 8%. Both of these add-ons will have infinite value just because it really comes down to how much I use his ability, how much I scamper, and how much I actually use the Slice and Dice. So you can get a max amount of value off of them, or you can get barely any just because you're not using your ability that much. So that's my reasoning for keeping them infinite. But they're very good add-ons for Chucky. The Yardstick one is extremely good for him. If you're able to scamper a lot, let's say like around Shack, it's very easy to catch survivors off guard because you're so short. Another plus is that they can't see your footsteps because you're inside of Heidi Ho mode, so you're able to pull off a pretty decent amount of mind games, and if they're injured, that makes it even better. Any pressure to survivors is a major plus for the killer. And also the jump rope can also help us out with either distance, that or just barely hitting survivors. We managed to get some pretty good hits in both trials, where we just barely get them at the end. These two add-ons I really do like on Chucky. I haven't really been testing out most of his add-ons, but these are the ones I've been using a lot. So I guess I'm pretty comfortable with these two add-ons. If they're his best, I'm not too sure. I think the yardstick is, but the jump rope I probably could change out with another one. But like I said before, these are the ones that I'm enjoying running. Just my thoughts. So that's our build. We have some pretty decent regression, like I said. We have pretty good information, pretty good uh, pressure when it comes to pallets. We also have the yard stick to give us a little bit more information on survivors, and we also have the jump rope to help us out with our slice and dice, so we're just able to get a little bit farther to catch back up and chase, either that or just hit him at the last second, which we do manage to do a couple times. And finally, we are on Garden of Joy. I hope you enjoy this video, and I want to thank you so much for watching. Okay, Garden of Joy. There is no joy here, <laughs> as much as Chucky is happy. But we'll... Where are you, assholes? <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm very curious. Bringing a build that would hopefully help us out in that aspect. So, my main point is to use his scamper mode a lot more when it comes to being stunned for through pallets, and I'm going to be walking through every single pallet. At least that's the hope. Oh, I hear you. Hello, Michaela. Also, you all brought med kits, which is good. I, I want that. Good try. I was kind of a, She kind of went into a bad spot there. I hear somebody upstairs. 
Oh, I forgot it was first person. It's so weird. Oh, that's what a uh, FOV Chucky looks like. He's just kind of floating. <laughs> Guess it makes sense. That was upstairs. Might hear a gen pop in about a moment, but that's all right. Let's see something here. Hi. Ooh, that was really close. Uh, wake, do you have a flashlight? Oh, yes, you do. Good try, though, buddy. I appreciate that. Try. Ah, I'm stuck. So far, we got no use out of our <laughs> perks yet, but that's alright. Um, we got Wake to leave his gen wherever that was. Michaela went over here. Uh, so far, his gens don't have the greatest progress. That's okay. We'll still. Eh, who cares? We'll pop it. Um, could we get to see them? Who is it? I saw somebody go into main building. Let's pretend to chase Yui just for a second. Oh, good job. I was hoping they'd be up here. Oh, yep, 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 they are. Hello, Wake. No pallet nearby, so we're just gonna hit him. Got something for you, Let me try something. Yep, that worked out. Ooh, I don't think he, he probably thought we were a lot farther away. Now, was that wise, my friend? Unfortunately, it was not. That's okay. Oh, I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna head to Shack real quick, and then we'll come back. Did I hear anything? I do not. Let's, uh... I want to get most use out of our pop as much as we can, because we've already... There we go. We've already not used the greatest with it. This is, uh, Yui. Good try. This is really bad for all of them. Let's go back to Michaela. Are they still here? Yeah, she is. Oh, that was a mistake. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Until that. <laughs> Ooh. I should have been blinded there. Alright. I'll be honest, Wake. I don't know what happened there, buddy. You should have gotten me. Right, let's go back to Yui. She's up. Yeah, you had assistance. Okay, I was gonna say maybe she had unbreakable. Oh, this back part's all open. Good try. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna miss out on our pop. Miss out on our pop, but that's okay. All right, um, let's go take a look around. I'm gonna go check uh, the, that gen back there. See if there's some progress. I wanna let them heal. I wanna try to get some use out of hubris. So far, we haven't been stunned yet. Yeah, I saw a wick there. I'm gonna. Might actually be able to catch up with them in just a moment. Ooh, this channel has some progress. I'm assuming that was uh, Michaela that went for the rescue. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Pretty sure that scared him. Hi, Michaela. Don't worry, we'll chase you in just a moment. Actually, can we can we get you to? Ooh, here we go. We need to use our hidey ho mode before she stuns me, because I need to be able to scamper. Hi. Can I get you to get to take me to a pallet, please? <laughs> please, I'm begging you. There's no pallet here. That's unfortunate. Alright, well. I think Wake's still on the hook, right? Oh, that wasn't the unhooking. I think that was uh, someone missing a skill check on a gen. Oh, I'll play Michaela. I think Wake gave up. Oh, I actually would have hit her if, we uh, if she would have gone for the rescue. Don't do it, Yui. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> All 
Alright, from what we know, she went to main building, so we can probably just head over there. Death there was a rough one for them, but... They're trying their best. That's all that matters. Let's see if Maria's in here somewhere. Oh, she went for the rescue. That's kind of her. Yeah, I don't think we're getting much use out of our out of our hubris and uh, enduring. You should have dropped that. She could have dead hard, but I don't know. I'm assuming Yui's. I'm assuming Yui's back on that gen behind me. Oh, somebody was here. She's got really confused. I think she'll make it to the rescue. Uh, let's see if we can go around, see if we can catch her off guard. No, she kept going straight. Good for her. Yeah, there she is. Man, she made some distance. I don't think she knows we're behind her. Well, oh, good try. Well, we'll play it, friend. That was definitely a rough one for them, but we still didn't manage to get any use out of our two perks, which is okay. It is what it is, honestly. This map has a lot of pals, so I just think we caught them off guard and. We just were able to down them relatively quickly, just with Chucky's ability, so. It's pretty good. I want to see their med kits, I'm kind of curious. Oh, they weren't that great. Oh, someone switched to a tool... I don't remember switching to a toolbox. I thought three of them had med kits. We did see Wake's flashlight. Um, yeah, they had pretty decent med kits. Circuit filling, we didn't... I don't think we heard any, um... Totems go off. Empathy, that's pretty good. Uh, so she wanted to, like, heal people. That's very nice. Maybe switch out, um... Counter force with, uh, maybe like botany knowledge. Might help you out a little bit with healing. Calm spirit distortion. I don't think we saw it either. I don't, I didn't even notice the calm spirit. You got iron will, which is good. Lightweight, which is good. Yeah, these two are pretty good too. Uh, Yui, we have life, quick and quiet. So that's how she made so much this. <coughs> excuse me. That's how she made so much distance because she used the window inside the main building to get her life and she just kept going. Okay. Makes sense. She resilience was good. Deja vu was good. Maria, uh, we didn't see her off the record. She did have dead hard. Um, she had adrenaline. You get to see that. Deja vu was pretty good too. She's the one that sent us here. Yeah, well played, everyone. They tried their best. Well, friends, it definitely worked out in our favor. I think we played really well in this one. Like I said before, I have a lot of fun playing as Chucky, and the stuff that I was able to pull off in that trial really kind of shows off what I was able to do. Well played to the survivors, they all tried their best. I just think that the survivors didn't really gravitate towards pallets, which I thought was really interesting. It also helped out we caught a lot of them off guard in certain situations and certain spots that didn't have pallets in general. But anyway, they tried their best, and that's all I can ask for. So now let's talk about the next trial. So we're going to RPD. I'm starting to get over RPD. It's kind of like with Mount Ormond. It's a big map, but I'm starting to get over when it comes to like actually like being upset when I see it. It's not exactly necessarily a bad map for both killer and survivor. There's some pallets that the survivors can use that are extremely strong. But luckily we have a build to kind of counter that, and hopefully we actually will get some value off of uh, Hubris and Enduring, but we'll see when we get there. Alright, so like I said before, we're running exactly the same perks, Pop Quiz Weasel, Nowhere to Hide, Hubris and Enduring. Hopefully we can actually get some value off of our two bottom perks. Same thing with running the Yardstick and the Jump Rope, hopefully we'll get some more value off of the Yardstick. And yeah, again, that's our build. To reiterate, we have good regression, we have good information with the Yardstick and Nowhere to Hide. We have good pressure when it comes to the Jump Rope, Hubris and Enduring. And again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Ooh, Raccoon City Police Station. I do like this map, just because uh, I like Resident Evil. And also, we have a good build for this. No more Mr. Good Guy. <laughs> that's your name, Chucky. Sorry, that's your branding, my friend. Uh, who is this? I saw Nia. Uh, oh, jeez, everyone's here. Let's kick this. Uh, I see Nia. 
Hey, Weichi. It's really good to see you, buddy. Oh, quick and quiet on you, Weichi. Please stun me. Please stun me. Hi. Okay, now don't stun me. <laughs> Thank God she didn't drop that pallet. No bounce. She does have bounce. She made a noise at first. I think that was her being injured. Hi, Bill. That was very smart of you, Nia. That was very smart of you. I give you a lot of credit for that. Well done. Um, crap. We're kind of leaving the main gens, which is fine. Ooh, that was... <sighs> She's chucky. I don't know. After, after that hit, that was very <laughs> lucky on our part, my friend. Uh, Yoichi did heal. I'm assuming uh, the ace and the bill healed him. How are we getting over there? Nice. I think I'm pretty good with Chucky's ability. Hi, Bill. Okay, Ace is going that way. Good try, Bill. I always feel bad, kind of bad for hurting Bill. <laughs> He's an old man. He's trying his best. This is him, right? This is a huge risk. He just cut himself. I heard that ace. That was that worked out. I'm very proud of that one because we were like literally 99% done with our ability <laughs> with our hidey home mode. So that was, that was good. That's still regressing. Let's kick this. We might be able to find ace in just a moment. Asu over here, buddy. Guess not. Okay. Uh, let's head to the outside gen. Uh, I, mean, I, need, I just want somebody just to stun me, man. I don't think it'd be this difficult. <laughs> Anybody out here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's go check uh, the helicopter. I, I call this the one the helicopter gen, just because, well, the case in point, the helicopter. Actually, ooh, this one right here. Please don't finish that in my face. Thank you. Hi, Bill. Hi, Yuichi. I saw Nia as well. You hide next to the gen. There you are. There you are. <laughs> you gotta stop doing that, friend. Well, that was a mistake. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty big mistake. It's alright, Nia. It happens. I haven't seen Ace in a minute. Might be on the gens on the uh, front. Uh, that's... Yeah, okay, still regressing. I thought that wasn't. Let's go check up there. Maybe he's up there. He was in the library last. We saw him. That was good. Ah, yes, here he is. Who is this? Oh, this is Bill and, um... And, uh, Ace. Ooh, life, good job. I can do that too, buddy. Ooh, that was really close. Pretty hard on my part to do, but well done. Um. Oh, well, well he knows we have here, Bruce. She's fine, it's not the worst thing in the world. Good job. I went the wrong way. He went up this way. Are you healing? Hi. Pretty sure that was a scare. Play a little bit greedy here. Bring it. Alright, let's leave her. She's going back up to the front so we can hook Yoichi and then go up to the front. Get our ability back and then we can uh, hopefully catch her off guard. At least one of them. I'm not too sure where Bill went. But, let's see. Alright, reason for me doing that is that they're talking to each other. They don't exactly know, but you can see me in just a moment. Good try. That looks really off, but that's alright. I should... Oh, I need to go pop the gen first. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to come down here. One moment. Uh... 
Uh, doesn't look like anyone's nearby. I think Bill might have gone for the rescue. Yeah, Bill went for the rescue. Yeah. Nia healed, I believe, herself. But she was almost done, though, um, from Yuichi and her healing, so I'm not too sure if she went for the rescue. Both of them are healed. I really need somebody to stun me when, I, when they're healthy, please. Uh, this gen lost a lot of progress, which is really good. Did I hear Bill? Oh no, that was Ace. Can I see anyone here? Oh, I saw somebody up there. Hi, Bill. Hmm. He'll vault it. He does not bounce. He goes down here. Sorry, Bill. Ooh. Glitch out there for a second. Take him upstairs. Might hear another gen pop in just a moment. Maybe the one's over back over by the corner. Someone went for the rescue. I'm gonna leave him for just a moment. Maybe they're going this way. Hi, Nia. Can you stun me? Nice. I'll leave you be, buddy. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Uh, play me. She does have balance, so... Is there a window here? Yep. That's okay. I want her to... I really want to see if I can get her to hit me. Or stun me. There's no pallet here, unfortunately. I'm trying to force a force an activation of my perks when I probably shouldn't be. But Let me just go around. I'm probably gonna hit her here. Or did she go the other way? Yep, she went the other way. Here to my right. All right, let's head back to the main room. She's just gonna keep running in circles. I, I'm trying to force my perks, and I probably shouldn't be right now. I think it's the last thing I should be focusing on. Uh, that gen sounds like it's about to be done. So is that one up there? Ace is up there. Let's go up there. Actually, let's kick this first. That's Ace. Let's really see anyone else. That's close to being blocked. Or is it blocked? It shouldn't be. This is Yoichi. Can you stun me, man? Somebody else was here. It's Nia. Hello. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna go around this time, except we're gonna go where she's gonna go. She went this way. See, that worked out. Alright, we can go back to main room. Um, we can hook inside this room right here. We'll play Nia. Well done. I think it might have been Bill and Ace, if I'm poor to assume. As long as they don't finish this one, I'll be happy. No, I didn't. No, they ran out that way. There's no pals out there, man. Or there's one, but... I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go back up to where Yuichi's gen was. He might still be on it. Cause that's still regressing. Uh, this isn't anymore. Or, yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen this animation. <laughs> Kick this and see if anyone's nearby. I've gotten a lot of value off of nowhere to hide. Alright, come on, you guys, please stun me with this pallet up here. Just stun me, just stun me, just stun me. Thank you. What the heck was that? I'll take it. <laughs> also, I didn't know it took you out of hidey hole mode, so that's actually a good thing. To learn from that. I think he panicked. I don't know what really happened there. But, oh, we'll try. Or good try, I should say. Is Bill up there? Yeah, he is. Alright, hello, Bill. Oh, let's kick it. Now is it done? I'm not too sure. Hi, Bill. Can you stun me real quick? Just a thought. Oh, wait. Stun me, stun me, stun me. Thank you.
It's very unfortunate. I was really hoping I would run out. Hubris is about to end. I managed to get it just in time. About fucking time. <laughs> no, that's a very fitting statement for me trying to get these perks to work this whole time. That's hilarious, Chucky. Thank you for that. Well played, Bill. That was really good timing, Chucky. I really do appreciate you for that. That was awesome. I think we have enough time to catch one of them off guard if they're both here. Yeah. Oh, good job. We can still kick it. You each are you nearby? I haven't played much with you yet. Nah, he's not. Hello. You want to stun me here, please? Oh, we tried a lithe. So I think I forgot he had lithe. Please stun me, please stun me, please stun me, please stun me with that. Aw, oh, he knows. Gents at zero. He went to my right, but I went the wrong way. That's okay. Oh, he kept going. Hold on. I'm not 100% of where he went. There he is. He has nothing he can stun us with. It's still regressing. Can you take me up to the helicopter? He's got to pre-drop everything, at least I'm assuming he is. He doesn't have his life back. Good job, Yoichi. He was over there. That's a bit of a mistake. Ooh, that was close. He's gonna go- uh, this window's blocked. It's finally gonna drop it. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, you can't can't go through there, buddy. Sorry. Well done though, you can be busy for a minute. So I guess like with Bill it was pretty good show off of a few bursts and enduring, but other than that, <laughs> I haven't really gotten too much value. Well played Ace. Get too much value off of it. Are you over here, Yuichi? Doesn't seem like it. There you are, buddy. Can you stun me? <laughs> you hear it, right? Yeah. There you go, buddy. I <laughs> said so you better hear it. He was, right next, he was closer than I was. Jeez, you did a lot. Okay, let's see. Balance. We saw the balance on you. Uh, I don't think we saw this. I could be wrong. Uh, BT, I don't see that too often. It's pretty good. Adrenaline, both on Nia and Bill. We'll make it... Excuse me. We'll make it really good. Ace, we did see his life. Did not know about any of the rest of his perks. Yoichi, no clue about off the record and dead hard. No clue about unbreakable. Yeah, well played, everyone. This is a really good trial. Well, friends, it's not exactly how I wanted it to go, but I think it worked out either way. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I think both trials we played really well. The survivors played really well. We utilized Pop and Nowhere to Hide relatively well, but when it came to Hubris and Enduring, we kind of struggled there a little bit. With Trial 1, we used Pop and Nowhere to Hide seven times. We got some pretty good use out of it, but we didn't get stunned once. We didn't even use our Ruler once because we didn't scamper once. On the Jump Rope, on the other hand, I think we managed to use pretty well. We used it to gain a little bit of distance, and we actually had some, some pretty good hits with the assistance of the Jump Rope. When it came to Trial 2, I think we used all of our perks effectively. We used Pop seven times. We used Nowhere to Hide a lot, over 14 times. Hubris and Enduring, we used a couple times, but I think those times that we did use it really did help. We instant down two survivors, so I think that's pretty successful. Even if Enduring managed to proc once, I still think that's a good thing, because Enduring just helps us out in general. Even if it's just like, you know, not that great of like a stun, or like it's on say Pallet, if you get down right after that, Enduring still helped in that sense. And the two times we got Hubris to work, one was Ace's mistake, I think he forgot that we had both of them, because he did stun us before, but I think he was trying to get his life off. And with Bill, we just barely managed to get him like right at the last second, so that was very, that was very close, we got very lucky on that. I think this build is kind of hard to get value off of it. At least the two trials that I showed here, we managed to get Pop and Nord Hide to work out pretty well, which is pretty good on Chucky just in general. But with Hubris and Enduring, I, can't, I hope it kind of showcases off with the build and the ace how good it can be. I tried two more trials after this, but ended up being where somebody quit, and then the other person, uh, the other trial just was not fun at all for the survivors. I think I downed two of them right at the beginning, and it just got worse from there. I barely got any perk value off of that trial. 
If anything, I'd say give this build a try. It's not the greatest in the world. You have good regression, you have good information, and enduring and hubris are definitely a gimmick kind of thing. And Chucky can kind of struggle when it comes to catching back up, just because he is very slow, mostly because of his hidey ho mode. So do keep that in mind. Enduring and hubris on him can be very hit or miss. I think enduring is pretty good on Chucky, just because you're able to uh, scamper underneath pallets right after you get stunned. Maybe bring in like Spirit Fury instead of hubris. That might even be better. For an example, let's say that uh, you chasing a healthy survivor, you have Spirit Fury ready. They draw the pallet on you. Spirit Fury activates it so it does enduring, you injure them, switch to hidey home mode, and you're able to finish that chase off relatively quickly. Hubris is an okay perk. I think it struggles with almost every single killer in the game unless you bring a build dedicated around it. Again, Spirit Fury enduring. Let's say we got rid of nowhere to hide and brought those three. Then yeah, this build would be a lot better, but having two perks dedicated around Hubris can be okay. And also pre-dropping pallets is a huge thing. Once most survivors know that you have Spirit Fury, they're going to pre-drop pallets like it's nothing. So you're not even going to get value off of those perks. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like I said at the beginning, Chucky's a lot like Wesker. He has a lot of potential when it comes to like certain builds and also just with what he's able to do. His ability is really good and in my opinion extremely fair. The survivors can mind game Chucky as well, whether that's faking going one direction or looping around certain windows, you know. There's ways to counter Chucky. He's not like an overpowered killer. He's extremely strong, but he's not the best of the best, you know. And same thing with Wesker, he's really good as well, you can also mind game him. So I like making builds dedicated around Wesker and Chucky because they have a lot of potential, like I said. A stealth Chucky would be interesting to do, but I don't know if uh, having undetectable gets rid of your footsteps, I have to test that out at some point. Anyway, that'll be for the future. Alrighty, I want to thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. And if you liked the video, leave a like, help support the channel. Check out my Instagram, link in the description, I just post updates on there whenever I can. And yeah, thanks again everyone, I appreciate all of you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.